So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope Olga persuades all those guys to leave. And leaves the show. You alive there? Huh? What the hell? God damn! Eat this! Artyom! Get out of here! An enormous beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. Olga! I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and live like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. 
Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like... Like children, I guess! Even though they look like these those pioneers, huh? in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His Olga is there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Arthur, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come with me! Like Aunt Anna's. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Master. Don't worry, Artyom. You'll be okay. Anna is strong. Olga, Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. We did examine the dam and reservoir. Seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. So no Take a seat, Bratucha. Boy, this conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we up are wrong? With it? The legend says. Irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is almost Damn, as high as back in there. Moscow. It got me a more. Uh, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably. So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go no, together. Sir, not please. Right. First, she is my daughter, his wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker, and Artyom with his dream, he dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Akadem Gorodot labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Remind them, the please. huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen. Your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been to. <sighs> Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see, therefore are Mother's record. The medicine is called Renogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she has a real doctor. Ah, Artyom. You know you're just being unfair. Colonel and you take the exciting mission, and we all get the boring one.
Arabia. Believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Alyosha. I hope that you help. We'll see about that. There's nothing to see. Do you think Colonel didn't send us there just because he forgot about it? Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow, and now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savanna. are undamaged and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there will be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. The situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yermak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Ah, I'm at it. Stefan! Krist, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora. There. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. To save Aunt Anna? Yes. Um, could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy mission acknowledged! She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. 
Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Good luck. Dude. Your gear, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. With it or on it. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Saddle up. You keep overwatch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last home now. All those carriages stuck here. A failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. All right. Walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. Find the road to your dream. Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artyom. We can handle this. I think we can get out through there. Hold on! A lot of cars. 
The army had the traffic blocked. The town got hit smack in the middle of evacuation. We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. This road should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Okay, turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Try the courtyard on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. to get into the metro here! way to the city center. Hmm, that's what I call a cave-in. 
Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Through the carriage. I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken it to triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable! Ah, mutants again! Going to have a go at us? Let them try, I say. Straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Arthur. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Related to the mutants from back home. And this metro is crawling with them. I guess we can handle these. What do these things even eat here? Not people, that's for sure. still there. And that was it. Damn! Another dead end. The bridge is down. There are usually two levels in such collectors. Let's try to get through down there. We could squeeze through here.
Here are the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? 8,000 kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. One of the old spies, too. move. Just watch where you're going from now on, huh? We've lost enough time already. That leads to the tunnel. I don't like these supports. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. Let's see. Was war after all. Hmm. Oh, they'd been defending with these armored trolleys, and when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here, until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death? Born out of truth. Oh, what? Uh, I feel uh, strange. What was that? Shh. There, 
Again. Oh, what the hell? Look around here, Artyom. You might find something useful. All of the metro systems were built similarly, so there should be a ventilation well here. should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel.
didn't <laughs> run through here, I'd notice. Check that side out. I'll have a look here. Hey! We know you're here! Oh! Grab him, Artyom! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Finally! Why did you run? Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Private Krill Klebnikov, Oscar, Rapid Response Unit. And you won't get another Klebnikov. word from me, so you can give right, me now. Right. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oscom. Aren't you with them? Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way. The station's nearby. Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artyom. Wait! All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Artyom is from the Exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! And we're done here. Private Plebnikov, you can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> it was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow. 
This is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on the mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait! Artyom! A satellite map! This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost! Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM Center. A long time ago. So your father's on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Um, do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Damn! Static again! Artyom, if his father has really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life! I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then Wait! We'll go get you can't the go outside with that anti-rad! We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great! Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo! Tell me when you're ready. Uh, Don't forget to restore some it? filters, Artyom. Won't have time to do that later. This map is definitely more recent. Uh. Tell me, Kirill. How did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti-rad ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted, the committee sent in soldiers, the war broke out. And then, some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Aha! Here it 
is that one. Then you go through the station. Then take the right tunnel. This thing is safe. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.
Artyom, Artyom, come on, wake up.
You do find it, my love. It's, it's all right. right. I know, I know you, you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. You are here. here. So, so nice. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I was all alone again. Get up, quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just went out like this.
Can you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. He found the map! Said that was a true hero, and that he saved us all. Like mutants, but then he shot them all. Bam! Right with him in the eyes. Then we got to the river. There were these worms and deep water, so he carried me on the shoulder.
how he's even alive. Artem, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <laughs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is, then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <laughs> you can't go to sleep now. Well, hello there, Artyom. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare, Tyanus. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I... I hope this old man's blood will do something about that... that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, eh? With this... Ah, uh, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, eh? Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I... the old fool... I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep. He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready. And I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her, now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one. 
just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. <laughs> 